Hello skaters, thank you so much for tuning in. In this video, I will be sharing the one set of drills that I have done the most in my entire skating careers. I've been doing these exercises regularly. When I found some inspiration in foreign countries with different coaches, I decided to add two more drills to the um, initial three drills. So in total, we're gonna look at five exercises today. The purpose of these is simply to get more out of the energy when you're out skating. There's two different ways that I'm gonna teach you how to do this in the coming drills. The first is just to be more comfortable on your skates, so more comfortable on your edges. If you're a bit shaky, if you're not in a straight line, no matter how hard you push, you won't efficiently put that effort into the ground and generate speed. The other way is simply to use your steps, your strokes to push. A lot of us, especially when trying to do the double push movement, a lot of skaters find themselves slaloming and not actively pushing into the ground and generating speed. So these five exercises, five drills that I'm just about to show you, first real-time speed, then we'll do it in slow motion so I can talk you through the exercises and what should be the mind process when you're going through these exercises. Meant to help you steer your skates, feel comfortable on them and push into the ground. So they're gonna force you to actually work underneath yourself and into the asphalt, the tarmac, and you only push at half your stroke or not even that, how are you gonna skate faster than them? Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more skating and uh, yeah, check out all the videos that are already done on Instagram or here on YouTube. I'm excited to hear from you guys and I'm really happy to have you here for today's skating class. The first of the five exercises looks a bit like a classic slalom. However, it is not, or at least it should not be. In this exercise, you should really push with the inner leg. So the leg that is under center of gravity, that is the one you would want your body weight to be on, because this is the one you can use to generate the most power, the most speed. If you use the other leg, the one that's further away from you, it's just gonna slip away. Um, the idea is that you generate almost all your speed and almost all your power when you have your legs within your shoulder width. So once that leg is far out to the side, you can't really use it for anything. Therefore, focus on the leg underneath yourself. Well, the second step, we're taking things a bit further. This time you are forced to put energy in that foot underneath yourself. You do get that support wheel in the back because it can be a little too far out of your comfort zone to go straight from two legs to a single leg. So we have this one to bridge that gap. Though you have that wheel, try not to put too much weight on it. Really focus on the one in the front, the one that you should be pushing with and standing with. And if you do this well, you're even gonna hear the sound of asphalt or road being ripped apart a little. Probably your wheels more than the asphalt, but try and really get that sound of it out of it that every time. So you can feel that it's not just steering around underneath yourself, it's actively pushing. Also, when you're doing this, make sure you got your shoulders, your knees and your toes in a straight line so things are not just flopping around. If your hip is in one place, your head is pointing the other direction, it is gonna be very hard to use that hip and use that under push to create speed going forward. This one is likely to be the most difficult drill for most of you in today's program. This is a single leg push slalom. And please push and not just do the slalom. So every time you get this leg under yourself, make an active under push. Again, if you can hear some asphalt and some wheels rubbing against each other, a little <laughs> you're doing things correct. This might be more difficult than the previous exercise because we have no support, but make sure everything is pointing forward, especially that leg that you got lifted up in the air. If that one is twisting or tilting to the side, it's very likely to pull the rest of you out of position. And then it's gonna be very challenging to correctly push with skates pointing in the right direction. The fourth exercise is a weird technique that I invented for you guys to really force yourself to use the under push. So the second you push down into the ground, you pull the opposite knee towards the opposite shoulder. Other leg is kind of forced because you create this leverage. It's forced to push underneath yourself because that is how you avoid crashing to the side. So you get a good rhythm in this and you really learn that and this leg kicks up, it's harder to do the recovery movement, but in this exercise, we allow ourselves to just pull it straight up. And that's very easy pulling this up and pushing that down at the same time. And this is where we learn how it actually feels to push under ourselves in a straight line efficiently. The final exercise is a bit challenging. I call it the one leg race. You simply have to go as fast as you can using a single leg. 
not just jumping forward, but as I do it here in the video, you try and push under yourself. It's a lot of fun. You can do it with friends, you can do it with your club mates and try and see who can go the fastest. So make it a little easier and to avoid injuries, maybe take a few steps of normal skating before you go on to this single leg race kind of thing. This forces you not just to be efficient on both edges of your skates, but also to gain a lot of angle stability and to be comfortable on a single skate. Good for balance, good for just about everything. So try this one out, but make sure you warm up first. That is everything I have for you guys today. I hope you found some inspiration here and I hope you're gonna go on and try these on your own and have fun on the skates. Share them with whoever might be interested and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment if you have a question or an idea for my next video. And uh, if you need a hand with training, you can always try out some of the training plans that I put in the description below that I made. For marathons, for sprinting, some weightlifting stuff. And um, I did my best, so um, check them out. And that's, uh, that's it for now. See you next time.